quaint. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. They look happy. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. I guess, uh... Lily isn't too thrilled about being here? I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you've got a pretty clear head about these things. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? 
Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those... bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Fellas? How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Here. Oh shit, you found it? too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nothing. Empty. Just water. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently.
What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. You fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah. Right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. <laughs> tell him what you got in mind from- oh! God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message.
was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa! Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Have I missed anything? No, not really. 
It smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? She's not actually family. May as well be now, man. That girl needs you. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay, let's 
Let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. It's a feeding trough. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh, never mind. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Alrighty then. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee.
Finish talking later. You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Fixed. That should make everyone happy. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Danny needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear.
Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Storing gasoline all over the property. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. <laughs> 